is it easy to wear your heart on your sleeve? Uh, no, not so much. I'm, I'm, I, I probably look like an extrovert, but I'm, I'm very introverted, and I, um, I don't know. I just, uh, I just love what I do, and I, I just make it happen. <laughs> well, there's a thing that says big boys don't cry, but big boys should cry. And you, watching you in the national final, I mean, it just, it, we escape from the world watching you. There's just something about the way you perform. Is it, is it, is it just something that you emote very easily? Uh, that performance meant a lot to me. I mean, I'm an independent artist, not with a record label. I didn't know if doing Eurovision was ever going to be possible for me. And in that moment, I realized after so many years of working for what I do, I was in front of an audience who understood me. And whether or not I won that national final or not, what made me emotional was that I did it. I'm in a space now in front of people who understand who I am, what I do, and why I do it. And that's all that really mattered to me in that moment. And um, I mean, I'm singing a song that I wrote myself that's very personal to me. and. I wouldn't necessarily call myself the the uh, cookie cutter of what Australian music is. So um, yeah, it just it meant a lot. It meant a lot. Well, being a singer, being an artist, is not an easy task because you bear your soul to everyone, and even things that maybe aren't even true. You know, the whole thing just gets out of hand. Are you able to cope with that? Um, yes. I mean, this is what I want to do, and this is this is the life I want to live. I'm. I mean, I let people say whatever they want to say. You can do whatever you want to do, but I, I just, I just love to sing. And if that, whatever comes with it, I'll do it because I just love what I do. Well, you're from the Gold Coast. Was it just a little walk down to the national final? Was it as close as that? No, I'm actually from lots of different places. I was born in Sydney, actually, but I went to about 12 or 13 different schools. Lived in three different states. I have moved a lot, but I um. No, I, I mean, in fairness, it doesn't matter where you are in Australia, we're very, very far from Eurovision. Um, <laughs> so it definitely wasn't a quick walk to anywhere. I suppose the obvious question is, is Eurovision as big as we think it is out there? Yeah. Was, was it part of your, of your childhood? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I'm not from um, a family that really watched Eurovision or really accepted it. So it was... Uh, a, it wasn't always accessible to me, but I fell deeply in love with it once I understood it and um, realized that there's a very, let's call it an underground fan base of Eurovision in Australia who just really loved it. So once we were finally invited to the competition, um, the audience is huge. You guys just don't know about it because we're so far away. <laughs> Tell me this, when are you, how far ahead dare you plan? Because it's a fickle industry uh, or are you just going with the flow now? Have you got a plan? I, I'm, I don't plan on doing anything else. I'm, I'm in it for the long run, if that's what you're asking. I, I mean, as far as music and writing and yeah. composing, um, is this, have you got lots of things inside or even written down? Yeah, definitely. I've got lots of ideas, lots of things planned, tours, new music, collaborations with people. Everything's very exciting. I, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Do you realize the fact that you have got, you're in people's heartstrings are being uh, they're being twisted and uh, manipulated because of that song you are going to change people's lives oh that means that means a lot i mean i think the one thing that i took from watching eurovision for such a long time is that authenticity reads through the strongest i mean i will never fake cry or pretend to do what i do I, if i'm cold as stone in my performance then that's how it has to be but uh for the, thank you that means a lot i mean i just it means a lot to me and uh the song meant a lot to me as well so I mean, I wouldn't normally say it, but I feel humble talking to you. It oh. makes me feel quite emotional because there's so much to you that the world should be. The world is scared to be um, what, it, what it really is. I mean, I have nothing to lose. When you come from nothing, there's nothing to lose. So I'm, I'm really, really grateful to sit here and talk to you. I mean, I never knew what would be possible for me. I don't come from a lot of money. I don't come from a lot of anything. And um, Eurovision was always that little glimmer of hope for me, that little thing that told me that there will be people who understand you. And I learned very quickly that Eurovision is huge and it's not as easy as uh, lining up at the X Factor and auditioning. This is... It's huge. real. It's real. It's not reality TV. It's real legitimate artists, people who put their heart on their sleeves and do everything for their artist project. This is the biggest thing in my entire life and I'm so, so humbled to you know just be a part of it. I just want to say, I appreciate your time. I'm, I'm awestruck by the fact of what you have achieved and what you will achieve. Thank you, Thank you good luck, Thank and you so may much. you bring Eurovision, if not in physically to Australia, <laughs> uh, in any other sense. Could you imagine how much the world would hate us if Australia won? <laughs> I mean, that's what we're aiming for, but let's wait and see. Thank you so much for talking. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot.